People are like, who is Danielle Victor? And I'm like, bitch, it's Danny with two N's. Am I a fashion blogger? Maybe. Am I a storyteller? For sure. Am I a badass bitch? Absolutely. So if you're smart, you'll subscribe to my channel. Hey y'all. Why is this so close to my head again, Caesar? Hi. I just did my makeup because I'm going to Gabby's like work party tonight. And I don't want to put my dress on until I'm walking out the door because I am with four dogs right now. And I don't want my velvet black dress to be covered in doggy hair like this t-shirt. So I've got a couple minutes to chat before I go get Marcellus. But I wanted to do a quick video about this harasser stalker that's been bothering my sister really quick i don't know the extent of this guy's internal darkness but obviously there's something going on you know and everyone in the world including gabby can choose how they feel or handle the situation and he has said some really volatile and awful things including calling my nine-year-old nephew a effing f word if you know what i mean you know what i mean and the man is gay and so to call someone something that's so degrading someone who is actually gay is really doesn't make sense to me marcellus is nine to call a nine-year-old something that he isn't and never will be and a degrading name to anyone who is essentially gay when you are gay means that there's so much self-hate flowing through the veins of that man that it's spewing out as emotional poison which i just talked about in my last couple of videos out into the world out at gabby now i'm not quite sure why he chose gabby as a particular target it's interesting to me but he's called her job at one point he called her job saying that he was my doctor and that he needed my medical records first of all no so weird who has the time you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, as much as we sit down and we know that people are perceiving the world in their own way and they're all going through their own inner darkness, there's some darkness where you just have to be like, I don't understand it. I don't understand your hate. So Gabby's extremely upset about this, which anyone would be upset about it because you're harassing her at her job. This person called my sister, his name's John claude Gabby posted his Instagram on her social media, I'm not going to post him on mine. He called her at one point saying that he was going to kill me. First of all, the federal government couldn't even handle that task. Sir, you are also not gonna be able to handle that task. I am divinely protected by the universe and God itself because I am in fact God. And so are you, but you are so disconnected from that aspect of yourself because if you were connected with that aspect of yourself, you would be incapable of doing what you're doing right now. And so I think this is a weird chain of events that is happening right after I'm talking about all this stuff on my social media. It's almost a prime example of how this type of negativity, right, can be pushed in your direction and how you handle it is a reflection of how you perceive yourself to be. Now, how this man views my sister and I is irrelevant. The things he says and how he says them is irrelevant. It's concerning to know that someone is suffering in such a way that they are full of hatred. But he's a prime example of many, many, many many, 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 many people on this planet right now. When I used to follow pages like The Shade Room or any of those gossip websites, I used to witness in the comment section strangers talking about celebrities or people they don't even know in the most volatile and offer de awful degrading manner and i'd always think to myself even if you're thinking that thought as you're scrolling past this post why are you in the comment section actually typing that horrid thing that horrid thought out so it's not just this guy it's many people around the nation right now that are using their voices to spew hate at anyone and anything that they possibly can because they hate themselves they hate life they're disconnected from god they're disconnected from their souls and they need an avenue to find where they can make people miserable just like they're miserable i guess he's posting on his story according to all these dms that gabby is getting from you lovely people telling on himself and almost like he's enjoying this moment 
like as if he was living for this moment. Mind you, the way he got caught was he called her work phone on private, but her work phone is a medical office, so they don't have private calls. The number is seen right away because it's some type of gadget, which every phone should have that anyway. She was trying to figure out how to figure out who he was, and I said, put that bitch in Cash App. Put that number in Cash App. And she found him, and then me and her already had his page blocked, so you know he was a shit talker because the only time I block folks on my page is when they talk in reckless. You say some reckless shit, you get blocked, baby. So the fact that me and her already had him blocked means that he's already been on our page talking mad shit for whatever reason, because I don't know you, sir. I don't know you, you don't know me. You don't know Gabby. You don't know anything about us to be calling her work phone saying you're going to kill me. Like those, imagine having the time and a, and a dog lover at that. Imagine loving a beautiful creature. Come here, baby. Like so. And then having the ability to tell another human being that you hate them? I can't imagine how you treat your puppies. Huh, see the sweet boy. I wanted to bring this up to tell you guys that don't be Jean-Claude. Don't be this guy. Because although he's enjoying this little moment in time where he feels important and noticed, he's withering on the inside and he probably isn't sleeping well probably has extremely negative spiraling thoughts because no one who is healing, no one who is evolving, no one that is in tune with their highest self could do the things that he is doing and enjoy it. Even without Gabby putting him on blast, there's no way that when he goes to bed at night, he feels satisfied or happy or relieved because all of us are God. That DNA is running through all of us. We are here by source. Source put us to live life through our own souls so he could know himself or herself or thyself. And I know that when I used to be so angry at the world and I used to talk shit to even other bad girls online, there was times where I'd toss and turn at night being like, why can't I sleep tonight? Not thinking it's because I was talking shit about bitches online, but really so it was because my soul was not aligning with the bullshit I was doing. My soul was not cool with me being a little bitch online talking shit to people when I don't even know them. Yeah, okay, maybe I did a reality show. Maybe I lived with you for three months, but that don't mean I know you. So to be a random guy who has never met my sister and I, to call her extensively at all hours of the day and night and morning, to threaten her, threaten me, say awful, terrible things about her life and her son and the clothes she wears and how she goes about her business it has nothing to do with Gabby or me, it has to do with you. It's a reflection of you. The only person that looks ridiculous is you. The only person who's being harmed in this situation is you. The emotional poison that you are throwing out, I'm not catching it. I'm not catching it. I'm here to tell you I forgive you. I feel sorry for you. I said a little prayer for you. I said I pray for his healing. So whatever healing this guy needs that has hatred running through his bones, like the way it is right now, I pray for that healing for you. But besides that, I will never think of you again after this video. You're irrelevant to me. You have nothing to do with my reality. And although you wanted me and Gabby to be a part of yours, we are not. And we are never going to be. Except I'm hoping that this video, which I know you'll watch. I know you will watch this. Maybe this video will change you. Maybe this video will make you sit back and be like, what is wrong with me? Maybe take a piece of paper and write down everything inside you that you can't stand about yourself. All those things about yourself that you don't like is exactly what you're giving to other people in the world. And then when you start to realize what you don't like about yourself, then you can say, why don't I like these aspects about myself? And how can I work on loving myself? so that I have the capability to be love in this world and to others. But right now, with what you're doing, you are ricocheting and boomeranging so much darkness back into your life, back into your life. Because all that hate, all those threats, all those horrible things that you said about my entire family is going to come back. The universe is gonna send that energy back in your direction in ways that you are going to be unimaginable to you and you're going to be thrown into the darkest night of your soul and you're going to be forced to change so you might as well start changing now prepare yourself for what's coming because the universe plays no games when it's time for a soul to upgrade and right now your soul is you are disconnected from your soul from your highest self because your highest self could never could never so all i'm saying to everyone out there who's watching this video alongside Jean-Claude is don't be Jean-Claude, at least not this version of him. Be someone who can show up 
with love in places they used to show hatred. Go deep within your soul and figure out why are you so angry? Why does someone, a complete and utter stranger, get you to do such weird shit? How does a stranger get you to pick up a phone and blow up someone's number on private over 60 times? What about a stranger bothers you so deep within that you are calling somebody's job because you have nothing else to do? Because it has nothing to do with the stranger you're fucking stalking or harassing it has to do with you and only you your poison is your poison and nobody else's so you've got to come down to grips on this reality that it's no one else around you that's fucked up it's you that's fucked up but you don't have to be fucked up for long you can start healing you can start forgiving yourself you can start loving yourself you can start having a good life that's healthy with no toxicity and no negativity and instead of calling someone and telling them that their son is an effing beep and that they're you're gonna kill her sister you'll start saying positive things to strangers you don't know smiling at people across the street looking yourself in the mirror and really loving what you see because right now i know for a fact when you look in the mirror you do not love what you look at how could you it's impossible it's impossible to say I love myself and then do what you're doing because no one who loves themselves does what you do. It's, it's not a thing. And this is coming from someone who used to throw on a facade of being the tough guy and the bitch, the biggest bitch in the room. And I didn't like myself at the end of the day. And it took me almost 35 years to realize that, wow, this whole life I'm, I've been denying the fact that I've been not loving myself the way I needed to be loved. And how can I love myself so I can love others, so I can be kind to others, so I can make the world a better place? And I'm doing that and I'm working on that. And no matter what anyone says to me anywhere, at any time, I know who I am and it's never gonna affect me. So I'm here to look you directly in the camera and say, your poison is your poison and it's nobody else's. It did not touch me. I am divinely protected. My entire family is divinely protected. We over here, we doing the work, baby, even on days that's hard. You need to start doing the work. You need to start loving yourself the way you deserve to be loved so that you can love others. And until you do that, you're gonna find yourself going darker and darker and darker into the depths of your own shadow until you have no choice but to escape to the light. So you might as well start now. I don't know. It's just my word of advice, but what do I know? I don't know you. I just know that human beings have souls every single one of us. And people that have dark eyes or can com commit heinous crimes or can say awful things like the things that you have said, lost the connection with their souls and then just kept getting further disconnected and further disconnected and further disconnected until they couldn't disconnect anymore. There's just nothing there anymore. Just blankness behind the eyes. And so do you want that to be you? When you take a photo or you look in the mirror, when strangers see you on the street, do you want there to be light behind your eyes or do you want there to be darkness? I'm pretty sure you would want there to be light. You would want there to be something that is love so that you could be loved. Because clearly this is a cry for help. This is a cry for love. And instead of bashing you and, and doing what I would do maybe a year and a half ago, two years, I'm going to tell you that I feel sorry for you. I've said a prayer for you and I hope you start giving yourself the help that you deserve because you need help. You need to help yourself. You need to save yourself. And for anyone who went to his page and left awful comments, harassing someone that harassed me or anyone is not the riddle. It's not the puzzle, the game that we should be playing. Two wrongs don't make it right. Just because he said these awful things doesn't mean that anyone should go to his page and say awful things to him because then what's the difference between you and him? There is none. You're stooping to his level. You are doing exactly what he did to us. And so that means, and I know you're probably doing it from a place of, I love Danny or I love Gabby and I'm going to tell him something and I appreciate you supporting us, but you support me more by saying nothing because we all have to sit back real quick and say that there's something deep within him that is hurting. He's a man that is in deep, 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 deep pain. And we don't know the stem of that pain or the cause of that pain or why he is the way he is. We just know that he is in pain. And so to go to his page and say reckless and horrible and mean things that may be adding to his pain that's going to throw him deeper in darkness is not what I advise anyone to do. So please don't do that. And if you have left a comment, please delete it. Don't be John Claude. Be kindness. Be love. Everyone just start showing up for yourself and for others as love. Where does hate get any of us? Where does anger get any of us? And where does like the non-forgiveness 
get us except stuck in the same sadness no evolution no evolving some things are unforgivable and his actions were despicable but then you note it and you move on with your life and you say a quick prayer like god i know you're somewhere in there so i hope you can help this man find his way back to you and that's that so i needed to make this video because i know that a lot of people were going to his page and saying really really negative things and i don't i'm not cool with that so anywho okay i gotta go pick up Marcellus and then throw on my little sexy dress and have an enjoyable evening eating. I've been craving sushi and Asian food and that's what we're eating tonight so I couldn't be more excited. I love you guys. Please be kind to one another. Please be nice. Don't be mean because you, when you do that, it's a reflection of who you are. It has nothing to do with the other person. And if you haven't watched my other video, it's entitled, Jesus isn't coming to save you. Don't take it personally. Don't take anything personally. And it's so funny because the comment section is so many people taking it personally. And I'm like, so y'all missed the point of the video. But I go into depth about this emotional poison and how people are a reflection of themselves. And how we perceive them is not who they actually are. It's just our belief about them. And I believe, my belief about John claude and anyone else who does stuff like John claude is it's a human being who's extremely hurt on the inside, hates themselves, and wants to make anyone feel shitty because they feel shitty. And that's a shitty place to be. So, anyhow, go watch that video if you haven't. Uh, don't make assumptions will be next. I just wanted to make this quick video really quick before I went out because I find it really important that this all happened right when I'm making these videos and then people were taking my beliefs and my point of view of what I'm talking about on my channel personally which missed the entire point of the video right over their heads. I think all of this is just a prime example of what it is to receive emotional poison and emotional garbage from someone else and be completely unaffected by it but there's a lot of people who would get phone calls and messages and threats from a person like john claude and completely spiral out of control because they're not in tune with their higher self or they take things personally but john claude you should go watch my video called be impeccable with your word might help you out a little bit all right love you bye